Welcome to the Uncommon Transformation Television Series. That health is wealth is an undeniable truth. Therefore, the drive of Akwaibum State's government, under the laudable leadership of Governor Kwabu, to build infrastructure and provide affordable health care for her teeming population, is in line with his campaign promises and constitutional responsibility as the leader of his people. One of America's founding fathers and third president of the United States of America, Thomas Jefferson, once said that the purpose of government is to enable the people of a nation live in safety and happiness. Government exists for the interests of the governed, not the governors. There is an overwhelming body of evidence that Governor Pabio fits the bill. He has governed in self-denial as all his actions as governor are geared towards the interests of the governed. Also, one-time Prime Minister of Britain, Winston Churchill, said, Healthy citizens are the greatest asset any country can have. Thus, Governor Pabio has been passionate about making sure his people enjoy health abundantly. This he has also achieved by building hospitals and initiating policies to drive the process, by working hard to provide an enabling environment for a healthy citizenry, the governor seems to be asking, if you do not take care of your body, where are you going to live? We went ahead to build good hospitals because anybody who comes here to stay and live amongst us would like to see the best in terms of healthcare, Absolutely. and that's the kind of thing. And then, of course, we are training a lot of our children in residency, and then we brought in retired consultants in, into the medical field. And right now, I'm trying to encourage people in the diaspora to form a consortium and come in and run one of the specialist hospitals mm -hmm. and building right here. Governor Apabio's health drive to have his people live life and live it more abundantly has seen his administration build and commission five new general hospitals and med Medicare cost-free for children aged 0 to 5 years, pregnant women, and the age at 70 years and above. To further give verve to his uh, health programs, two more brand new general hospitals, Adika and Eastern Obolo, have been added to the fleet and commissioned recently. Atika, it was excitement galore as women chanting singing and waving, lined both sides of the hospital internal roads to say welcome and well done to His Excellency. The Commissioner for Health, Dr. Ememvasi Basi, revealed that before the upgrade, the new Ika General Hospital was a mere health center, but now it is fully restructured and equipped to a general hospital status. It is fully equipped, consists of all the four different departments. You have the obstetrics and gynecology, pediatrics, you have internal medicine and surgery. It also has a laboratory complex. It has a modern mortuary. Probably what I would say is the best mortuary in the state. Um, state. A six refrigerator mortuary, modern mortuary. Commissioning the project to God's glory, the Aquaibum State Chief Executive told the people he wasn't done yet with them. A 
Amidst the euphoria from the people, the governor dedicated the hospital. I'm not only commissioning the hospital in Ika today, I'm also commencing the treatment for patients and pregnant women in this hospital today. Even though they said that the hospital is already fully equipped, we have enough beds for people who want to lie down who are sick. We have doctors who are going to treat you. We have provided drugs already available. So your children under the age of five are going to have free medical treatment here now. And all your pregnant women are going to deliver free of charge. As soon as I became a governor, I told all the married women to get pregnant. It is on that note that I join the people of the Kaluku government area in the presence of our stakeholders, the women of Akwai State, the women of the Kaluku government area, the chairman of the Kaluku government, the councillors, the stakeholders, former governors, deputy governor, and all to celebrate 26th anniversary of the creation of Akwai Gomset with the opening of this cottage hospital with all the facilities intact to save lives and to save the people of Ika. We have decided to bring healthcare delivery closer to the people of Ika. This is what government is all about. Yes. Touching the lives of the people in a special way. Yes. And that is why we refer to it as a common transformation. Right. May this edifice bring life to Ika. May this bring a point of growth to Ika. May no sickness come near Ika again. Amen. May this reduce all the diseases here. Amen. May no pregnant woman die here. Amen. May no child die here. Amen. May life return abundantly. Amen. May I do this in the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The hospital is equipped with some of the best medical facilities found anywhere in the modern world, as we can see from the tour led by Dr. Basse. Nowhere is too far or too remote for the transformation agenda of Governor Pabio, more so when the health of his people is concerned. This played out when the far-flung community of Okorete, a little village in eastern Obolo local government area, hosted the governor when he came to commission a general hospital built by his administration to take affordable health care to the grassroots. The governor defied the rains and darkness to get to the people of Okorete on the day of the commissioning. This is the 50-bed cottage hospital, Okorete, eastern Obolo, it is worthy of mention that this land and site were acquired 31 years ago and earmarked for this hospital was were neglected by administration after administration. But in line with Akwabio's vision that no local government under his administration will be left behind developmentally, this edifice is standing here today. The day's activities were tied. Thus, the governor's arrival at Okorote about 7.30 p.m. was marked by frenzy as the crowd let loose in utter excitement. Commissioner for Health, Dr. Ememabasi Basi, gives a historical perspective. As it was in Ika, so it was in Eastern Obolo. The governor talked to his people. And you see, for the people of Eastern Obolo, this is just the beginning. Right one shall rise. This is for my singular privilege and honor as governor of Hawaii to commence 
the common transformation of East Nogolo local government, we commission this project to give life to you. In the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. The hospital is fully equipped and ready for use. His Excellency once again went on inspection tour round the facility. <laughs> health sector, no doubt, has recorded laudable successes since the advent of the Apabi administration. Arguably, the most significant achievement of this administration in this sector is the 20th anniversary hospital under construction. It is a signature project of this government. It is a three-story, 287-bed specialist hospital or referral hospital located at Itam, in the outskirts of the state capital. Aside the specialized services it will provide, it will prevent capital flight and give verve to medical tourism. This magnificent Aquaibum 20th anniversary specialist hospital consists of six blocks, a service building that will house a school of nursing, an eternal connecting the basement of both the main and service buildings for ease of maintenance work. The hospital is conceived to be a model, the first of its kind in Nigeria, in view of the specialized services it is expected to provide. This will further crystallize the vision of Governor Apabio in putting service delivery and affordable health care system at the doorsteps of his people. This hospital is designed to standard the main building will come with all essential facilities ranging from emergency departments, laboratories, imaging departments with MRI scan, CT room and room for various X-ray facilities, functional diagnostic with endoscopy, OT department with a recovery and ICU, dialysis sterilization area, obstetrics and neonatal care amongst others. The hospital can be described as a center of excellence with services such as pediatrics, gynecology, internal medicine, dentistry and many other services available. In addition to all these, there will be retail and coffee shops as well as a chapel integrated in the hospital street on the ground floor. One of the interesting features of this hospital is the service building which will have a nurse school, administration, workshops, staff canteen, laundry, and others. Another supporting building will have a mortuary, sewage treatment plant, waste management yard, water service and chiller yard, and helipad. It will also have a swimming pool, staff housing, tennis courts, and children playground. The design philosophy of the hospital is such that when approaching the hospital from the main entrance, one will be led into the atrium hall with central reception, which is conceptualized to blend with the interior layout and courtyards to assist in orientating both patients and visitors, as well as provide a feeling of not being confined, but rather belonging to an inviting open house with close contact to nature. One of the key elements of the philosophy of the hospital is based on research primarily carried out in the United States which has confirmed that patients, if they are in a welcoming and caring environment, not only do they not feel so physically ill at ease but they recover more quickly. And this hospital has incorporated a number of, um, a number of features 
um, which from the time the patients approach the hospital through the time when they are being examined, diagnosed, put to bed and they recover with a feeling of, of well-being. A hospital is a system of care and if the environment in the hospital is not only welcoming for the patient but is technically designed as an efficient place in which to give treatment, then not only are your patients being treated in a, with respect and dignity, but the staff feel they can give the best service because technically um, the materials at their disposal, the rooms, the equipment, um, the operating theatres are well planned, efficient and effective. Inpatient ward blocks um, have a courtyard in the middle so that patients in some of the areas can look onto the courtyard but the bedrooms mainly have an outside view and they're on the first and second floor so if you're in the, the, the room you've got a view over parts of Uyo town and its environs. Mr. McGregor admits Aquaibum is a lovely town with a wonderful infrastructure and with the coming on stream of the specialist hospital medical tourism will be given leverage. Medical tourism has to combine a number of things. It has to combine staff of the appropriate and high level of competence. It also has to have an operating system where the hospital is running efficiently because they have to offer not just um, high level treatment but value for money. So medical tourism also needs a number of other um, facilities. You know, Uyo, for example, um, has got the very, very good um, golf course and Meridian Hotel. A quick look at the construction data shows that the floor area of the hospital main building has 33,750 square meters. The service building has 8,560 square meters. The support building consisting of the mortuary, powerhouse and waste management and the grass area of the hospital has 1,250 square meters and 7.8 hectares respectively. Construction of the hospital in its current form began in 2011. According to the contractors, work has progressed well. Site manager for GITO, builders of the hospital, Mr. Pinoche Khan, gives further insight into the level of work done so far. The structure work for the main building, for the service building, we finish 100%. Now, now next, the partition wall, block wall, block wall, we finish in the main building 100%. The service building, we finish up to 80%. The service building, is the main building is 100% is finished, completed. And the service building is up to 80% is complete. The construction of a hospital of this magnitude is a highly technical job. The plumbing and the sanitary wares must be handled in such a way to curtail the spread of diseases. The experts handling these areas say the best technology available at the moment has been deployed in the 20th anniversary hospital. What we've done is now the, the actual piping we're installing is what they call PPR part, which is uh, a polypropylene part. We actually fuse two pipes together. So there, once you fuse it, you have a weld of 20 millimeters. So once it's installed, it's maintenance free. You don't work on that water system ever again, unless you're working on a faucet, which has working parts, which has a plunge and a washer, which weighs. But the maintenance is made very easy for the next person that comes to work. All our stuff is positioned in shafts. It will be labelled hot water, cold water, return water, supply. This is aircon water. So everything will be labelled for when the maintenance person does come. It's very easy for him. You can take a man off the street. That can read and he will tell you what it is. The electrical work has also made tremendous progress as one of the consulting electronic mechanics, Mr. Ivan Olivia, took the Uncommon Transformation crew on a tour of what they have done so far. You have a boxing for a power, okay? You have gun boxing for a new skull. The, these ones, they're the base for the nurse, all the base for the nurse. Okay. And all room, this room, you have the lighting. When the person not uh, no well good, 
to send signal on the by north, north you go, go to see the lighting where the room for the, for the problem okay, to see. resolve the problem. One of the vital facilities this hospital will have on completion is a built-in oxygen plant, which is not a common feature even in hospitals abroad. Hospitals within the geopolitical zone and beyond can come to Aquibum and refill their cylinders. This will definitely curtail emergencies experienced as a result of lack of oxygen in hospitals. This will also boost the state's revenue base. The hospital project has no doubt attracted a lot of attention from would-be foreign partners. One of such is the Premier's hospital group. Apart from this gigantic project, Honorable Commissioner for Health, Dr. Ememe Basibase, informs that Governor Akwabio has upped the ante in primary health care delivery with the building of five new general hospitals, improved salaries and welfare for doctors, in addition to providing them with brand new cars. Other programs of the administration include eradication of poliomyelitis, training and retraining of doctors locally and abroad to provide better services. So, how will this referral hospital impact on health care delivery in the state? That is the flagship of them all. Now, why would I say flagship? Because when you look at the state, um, the, my, His Excellency Chief Dr. Gotchula Pavio is a very magnanimous person. Every day as I sit down here as a Commissioner of Health, I see requests for medical treatment. People who are poor, a lot of our people have issues that need to go outside the country. His Excellency is continuously sending people out of the country for treatment, for treatment that cannot be offered in, the, in Nigeria. Now, the 20th anniversary hospital basically is supposed to be an intervention that probably can begin to reverse that capital flight and also reverse the trend of medical tourism outside this country. Now, there was a news um, that I commented that I read that Nigerians alone, Nigerians alone had spent over $260 million on medical tourism to India last year. So you can imagine the amount of money that goes in. His Excellency, I would not want to mention the amount, but I can tell he spends hundreds of millions every year sponsoring Aquibum indigents out for interventions outside this country. The Health Commissioner is ecstatic that Aquibum people are in for a good time as it further sheds more light on what Governor Pabi is doing to complement the services of the specialist hospital and boost health care delivery in the state. This is also one of the projects that have turned around the fortunes of the state in terms of job creation. Medical staff will not be far away as they will be quartered within the hospital. This is a kind of legacy Governor Pabi will be leaving behind when he leaves office in 2015. The people call it 
Uncommon Transformation. Uncommon Transformation Television Series brings to you the latest information of the monumental achievements of the Governor at Pabio Led Administration. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to read the latest news, watch amazing videos, and listen to in depth analyses and interviews with the men and women working hand in hand with stakeholders to make a Kwaibum state better. You can also log on to our website, www.uncommontransformation.tv, for more information. On Common Transformation Television Series, bringing to you the right and current information when you need it.